I wasn't close, a close friend of Jimmy, but I consider him a very good colleague. Um, and I think it's very fitting that, uh, especially this is a, we can call ourselves an Evex community, and some words have to be said. Um, I think we were all shocked, and uh, there will be things happening in the coming days and weeks. We will read emails about it, and um, I mean, we couldn't forgive ourselves if something happened they said it. I think we did something similar for Adam, and uh, it, it, uh, it showed us that people, you know, they, they need to hear um, about the colleagues, and I think if anyone in this kind of position, they would appreciate that. So I will begin, I will begin um, I think saying a few words and then I will invite anyone who knew Thierry, who has something to say about him, to uh, come here and uh, just um, take it from me. Uh, so what can I say is that um, I met Thierry first to the annual action, so this is, um, <laughs> it was an action of uh, with the intention of bringing lexicographers together. And it did exactly that. It brought us together. Many of people that are here today are met through that action, and Thierry was one of them. Uh, and this sort of our acquaintance continued to be Alexis. I mean, that's where it actually uh, we, we didn't see each other all the time. We, we know the reason before we really broke up those uh, connections. But uh, I was lucky enough to spend uh, a bit more time with him at the DSNA conference in 2019. Uh, and what I can say, my, my main memory about Thierry was that, uh, in a way, he was a um, Mr. Reliable. He was always coming to a conference. I just knew that he would come to the conference. And uh, he was um, the guy in the corner. I mean, it, it, not in that respect, but he was always, he found himself a corner at the back or at, at the front with his computer, listening carefully, and you, you were, you just knew that he would have a question. You just found a question, something in detail, and uh, there were, he was listening to every presentation, and then I remember, uh, on a more Slovenian level, that we had this um, uh, there set of presentations where he did a linking on Slovenian resources and we knew nothing about that. And he just came and said, uh, with Lenka, and they said, oh yeah, we link these Slovenian resources and Simon and I was just going, what? You know, we haven't linked these resources and Thierry yeah. is doing something for Slovenia. And it just shows you, you know, he just had an idea, grabbed the resources and just went, yeah, I'll show you how things should be done. So these are my memories of him, and uh, yes, I, um, I will uh, in, I will keep him in my memory in that way. So I would ask you now for someone to um, sort of take over and uh, say a few more words. Hello, good evening. Before my was people off. I'm having a, something, a bonbon in my house and I can speak so it's very cool. Other professional level. Here I for me was you know, someone who was very humble and very cool. <laughs> and both of these stuff in science very important. Uh, and I think those were one of those reasons why I started liking him. Uh, and I actually, you know, like Pistol. We were very close friends, but I think I met him for the first time almost 20 years ago when I was his master's student in South Africa. And from well, that point onwards, we kept meeting each other at two places. Um, there's, you know, plenty of reasons to sort of look. And, um, but I would like this session to be um, perhaps not that interested. Uh, we could share the memories that you make us at this smile. And my memory um, of the area is a quite an alcoholic one. Um, years ago, I was telling him how my uncle uh, made a strong um, 
Zika still is a, uh, from uh, a gem, from old gem, which was a total sugar It's a very hard work. And he extremely liked the idea. And uh, when I told him, I said, uh, one or two bottles ago, is this is that I need to bring <clears throat> when, when we see each other next time. And we were seeing each other quite often in the recent years during the Alexis um, project. For, for four years, I think I was seeing the area well, at least once per month or something like that. And every, every time. And after two years, it was like the area is only in the bottle. <laughs> after another year, I said, forget the bottle, we go and drink. Okay? And um, it was, you know, just always so nice to, it was really so nice to forget the bottle and have this conversation with it, right? Um, this is how I remember it. Someone who was friendly, never in any way verbally aggressive to you, whatever was happening, um, always interested, you know? And I think we need that as well, like, very welcome. friend, only from conferences, but for sure every single conference I went to, I would meet him and uh, it was always so nice because just what you said, uh, he was always interested So he and he would always remember what project I was working on. So he would ask questions like, what about that project? And I was like, how can he remember that? You know, it was so long ago. And so it was always nice to know that I would have a quick chat with him, we would talk about some stuff, some funny stuff, always funny. We were always smiling, you know, it was never something bad. And now we were talking about the memory. I remember last year, if you relax, we were staying at the same hotel, Michael, the one with the awful Wi-Fi. And we couldn't work in our rooms because the Wi-Fi was awful. So we needed to go to the restaurant, the bar area. And then he and I would meet by chance there to work. So we were both working at the same time, each one in our table with a beer, saying like what? And then working a little bit. And then we would do that and we're like, oh you were here again with your beer, and me and my beer again with his beer, and we would work and I just have this memory and um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm appalled, I'm, I'm shocked, but uh, I'm, again, a, a humble person, a nice person, a person who didn't uh, have any kind of, like, he was always interested and uh, he would treat everyone in the same way and always with a funny and happy mood. And I want to keep this in, in my memory, so, yes. Yes, I'd just like to say as well, yeah, Terry, wonderful person, um, you will see him at every conference, you will never feel lost because you always knew Terry would be there. Uh, the last time I saw him, I spoke with Terry, was at such a conference in The Hague, 700 people, only 10 or so that I knew that Terry was there. Luckily, he was there. It was a very nice conference, we had a nice drink at the end of the conference, it up. Um, and yes, beer and wine, I think they were Terry's favorite entries in the AMW dictionary, on which we did the Ontelex then in order to get what he likes 2017. And yeah, beer and wine, they will never be the same again. I have uh, two things I'd like to say about Siri. I haven't known him for that long. I have met him years back when he's probably doing it now. But over the past three years or four, we've collaborated really intensely in the Nexus um, environment construction. So I believe you know, there are people who can talk more about that. But um, there are many of his friends there who are, who are very uh, worried and troubled on the past day. So. I, I think I speak on, on their behalf. Um, I think he was 
uh, and here's the last, not uh, this one, um, event uh, 10 days ago, 10 or 14 days ago, we had a data on in Croatia on uh, linguistic links open data, and he was one of the um, tutors and uh, teachers there. And so we spent a whole week, uh, an intensive week, as you can imagine, data funds in summer schools are. Uh, but what I remember is that on the professional level, all the students felt like they learned so much from him. And he, today during the day, I read some uh, posts on Twitter, and there are so many people, especially from Italy, he had a lot of colleagues there, who remembered fondly that he helped them in their PhDs. Um, you know, I wouldn't have finished this if it hadn't been for Tierney. And he was really taking care of the students. So, you know, during the evening hours, the tutors would just <laughs> forget about work, but the students were eagerly working in, into the late hours. And Tierney was there asking, you know, why don't we invite them? They should stop working, they should relax, and do you need help? He would ask everybody. So he was so supportive and like you say, he would always remember what we worked on every single time we meet. And even last year, he came to a small conference I organized as a part of my project in Croatia. You know, why would you come to a small conference in Croatia? But he was there. Um, and that's how he was on a professional level. Uh, what I find, um, we also have, unfortunately, an unfinished story about a bottle of Shlivovica, um, because uh, we gave a present to all the tutors in the end, and to the main organizers, five organizers, we bought a nice bottle of very good, expensive Shlivovica. But he and Milan Dochinovsky, they were having their backpacks only, so just cabin luggage. He couldn't take the bottle with him. So he said, uh, he said to Ivana, to, to my colleague, you know what, you take the bottle and bring it to me in Brno. And the first day on the train, Ivana and I were coming here, she said, oh my God, I forgot the bottle. <laughs> so we literally spent like yesterday morning when I first saw him, I asked, what was, what was wrong? What is wrong with his knee? He, he started having those issues in, in Zagreb. And so the two of us were saying, don't mention the bottle. And I said, I'll bring it to him in Vienna, you know. But he said, you can drink it. No, 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 we're not going to drink it. So I just said, even I don't worry, I will bring the bottle to the LDK conference in Vienna. And if for nothing else, I'm sure that we will have at least one, if not <laughs> many bottles of Shlivovica to remember him. Uh, well, every time there's an opportunity for that, yeah. Thank you. Well, so like many people here, I knew Jerry only from conferences, um, but as everybody has said, he was so reliably here. So, you know, um, yesterday, it's only yesterday, wasn't it? It's, it feels like longer ago now. Uh, you know, I was just saying hello to him bef before the talk started and then he was sitting in the corner over there and he was asking a question like he always did. Um, and then it was my turn to present, and he was sitting there, and he could see he was getting ready for, he was, I knew he was going to ask me a question at the end of it. So he never got to ask that question, and that's, it's, it's something that, uh, yeah, it's hard to, yeah, it's just hard to, to think that that was unfinished business, but I hope you found it interesting anyway. But to say something more, less uh, sad perhaps. I remember at another conference, we discovered we both speak some Swabian, Schwabish, you know, South German dialects. And we had, we had our rooms, our hotel rooms opposite each other at that conference. And I, after we had some drinks and so on, we then walked back to our rooms speaking Schwabish to each other. And uh, perhaps the only person who's ever spoken that language with him, but I just thought it was really funny, and I not think of him saying, Gute Nacht, Thierry. <laughs> anyway.
<coughs> let me share one memory. <coughs> so I had quite a lot of dealings with theory for some time, and it was always beautiful. Always, um, yeah, we had fun. But uh, <coughs> I remember a particular one moment. Uh, so we organized the uh, LREC in 2016 uh, in Porto Roj. So he was involved in the organization also. And uh, we came back from Porto Roj uh, to the airport uh, in Brnik, Ljubljana. And uh, <coughs> we started discussing actually what turned out to be Alexis project. And we sat at the we sat <laughs> at the airport, and we forgot about time. Uh, we were, you know, drawing things. Uh, what will be this? What will be that? And stuff like that. <coughs> and you can imagine <coughs> when the announcement came that they are missing one person <laughs> in the airplane, <laughs> and then he. Um, you know, started grabbing things and we had to say goodbye and so, so I will always remember that moment and I will miss him a lot. First of all, uh, I want to dedicate a few words uh, um, to Thierry, uh, uh, because uh, Ruth, uh, the, of my research center, worked for with Thierry for 25 years. So Ruth and Sarah Carvalho are sending, uh, sending love, and um, and they they told me to say that they will remind Thierry uh, forever. And also, I want to to say that uh, okay, I I wasn't close uh, of Thierry, but uh, the few things that I know about Ontolex and about linking data, I learned with Thierry during Riga summer school. And it, it was two very intensive weeks. And I have a lot of doubts. And in the during the coffee breaks, Thierry stayed with me, uh, clarifying my doubts. And as Tanara was saying, when I, uh, when I was doing my PhD, uh, I decided to work on football, but then things changed, and I all just uh, use football for uh, uh, just uh, to to test my methodology. But uh, I had a conversation with Thierry, saying that I was working uh, in the beginning uh, um, with the football domain, and Thierry just uh, told me, "Oh, I have already linked a lot of uh, football resources, so if you need help, and." In every conference that I met Thierry, uh, he always asked me, do you have your Portuguese data about football? Let's work. Do you need help? So Thierry was very friendly. He was uh, a very warm person. And also during Rigas, he always uh, told me what were the best place to drink the beer <laughs> ever. So. Uh, we will miss you, Thierry. And um, I also want to say something to the organization, to the organizers, because I can't imagine what is to have such great and amazing event. And so a tragedy happens. So thanks. Thanks for moving us on and to deal with this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, so um, I met Thierry for the for the first time when I was in my first master year. I was attending the Esli summer school in Saarbrücken in 1998. <laughs> so it's a long time ago. And I was a first year master student. Um, I was very, yeah, I didn't know what to expect. It was my ever my first academic event ever. And he was a tutor there, because I think he was at in Saarbrücken at that point, in 1998. And I, I, wasn't, I was a bit insecure as a first master student, and as I've heard from the others, he 
he really helped to feel you, helped helped you to feel in your place. I, I didn't know what what summer schools were, but still, um, when he also knew that I, I was also Belgian, he said, "Oh, oh no, an autre petit Belge." Um, and so he really he really put me at ease, and he took all the students to the center of town in Saarbrücken because the campus is quite far from from the center to to have drinks there, of course. Um, and I didn't know him that well, but I saw him throughout the years at conferences, and always he would say, "Oh, le petit Belge," and then we would talk um, a bit about Belgian things. And I remember at the last conference we before this one we saw each other. I think it was in in Vilnius at at the conference there, and I remember we discussed uh, during the dinner um, about. Um, I don't know whether people know that, but in the Tintin, so the, the, the comic book by Hergé, um, when there are foreigners, they always speak some strange language, but it's always Brussels dialect. So in all the translations, it's always Brussels dialect. And of course, he knew that as well. And we started saying phrases in the Brussels dialect that are used in Tintin. So we always had our little Belgian things. So um, I didn't know him that well, but um, um, yeah, I, um, it was a shock to be uh, here at the last, uh, in the last session that he ever attended. Thierry was a great man, extraordinary. He was a fantastic professional and he was such a wonderful human being. Uh, you all knew that. Uh, kind heart, generous, helpful. He liked people and uh, he was good at work and he just enjoyed meeting people. I think he was very individualist. And I first met him or he met me 10 years ago in some conference in Berlin, I'm not even sure it might have been meta, uh, and I gave a kind of presentation about how lexicography is good for NLP and stuff. And then this guy at the going down the stairs, it was at a fancy building of some ministry there, uh, was telling me something. What, what I was saying there was just speaking Chinese to them, and all of a sudden this guy <laughs> beside me on this going down the stairs was saying something about how good it was and how important. And then I started meeting him at lexicography conferences. I don't think he was coming to conferences before. It was before NL and all that. And um, before seeing him here yesterday, we met when he arrived, and then he was sitting here and making a comment and all that. Um, we spent a couple of days together in Brussels two months ago, and um, we were in a cost action uh, of actually a, a meeting of cost connect of uh, people from different cost actions, and there were m four or five of us from Nexus, and he was presenting Nexus, and he was taking us in the evening to drink, of course, and to eat and showing us uh, something. So. There are some pictures here uh, just to share with you. And I think that um, he would have liked us to just go to dinner and have a drink. And, to, and I think we can just do that. Um, first, these are other pictures. But 